Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be going to Beyond a Lens here in Branson, Missouri. We have been gifted some tickets and I am so excited to check this place out and take you guys along and show you what it's like. the fly ride it is a ride where I I believe it's kind of like a virtual like you're flying through the sky and there'll be different scenes and things that we're going to see so I am really excited to check this out while we waited for our ride on the fly ride we got to look in their gift shop and then they just have a nice little waiting area there that's nice for some pictures and just feels fun and themed We're gonna ride the fly rider, but they do have a height requirement, so we're gonna see if Bella, who is four, is tall enough. Let's check it out. All right, guys, she makes it. She is a good head taller than she needs to be, so this is great. All right, you start your journey on the fly ride in this little room here that just gives you kind of the instructions and rules and what to expect. After the fly ride, we went on over to the Beyond the Lens part and we had so much fun. I'm so excited to share this footage with you guys. It starts in this fun kaleidoscope room and that was just the beginning. jackpot. Look at all that money. Like you're going to an event. Oh look, we're like on TV. about that hey look you're on TV do you see you up there on the TV
Beyond the Lens has so many different attractions. They have a ton of interactive attractions where you get to actually be part of the interaction and they have photo things where it takes pictures of you and then makes it look fun and you can buy a package of all the photos later. It has old school video games. It has places that can give you really good selfies and like Instagram worthy pictures. They also have things for little kids, like they had like a moon ball pit, which was fun. They have escape rooms, like there is really something here for everyone. If you want to know my full thoughts on everything and ages I think this is great for and everything, be sure to watch all the way to the end or skip ahead. I'll have the time step stamp down below letting you know where to jump ahead if you want to hear my thoughts on everything and that way you can kind of just enjoy some of this video and I won't just be talking the whole time. the moon <laughs> you know up here with my my moon rover and my astronaut friend This robot screen room was my kid's favorite. They could have probably stayed here and played this all day long. On the other side of this room is the escape rooms and you can watch the people try and escape.
Bella, are you in charge now? Yeah. I'm so glad. Maybe we can get on track now. Alright guys, let me give you my final thoughts and opinions and just fill in some information that I wasn't able to share throughout that video. We had a blast at Beyond the Lens and Fly Ride was really fun as well. I do think if you're going to do Fly Ride, you definitely want to do the combo ticket. It is definitely your best value. You pretty much just pay a little bit more to do both sides than if you were to do one side. You're going to not pay that much less to just do one side. And then if you're like, go back another day to do fly ride, you're going to spend almost double. So definitely do the combo ticket and just do it all at the same time. So that would be my biggest advice there. Fly ride was really good, but it was not our favorite. We actually liked the beyond the lens side a lot better then we liked the fly ride. And I mean, fly ride was still fun. It was a neat experience. If you are used to soaring at Disney, it's kind of like a more simplified version of that. Um, and yeah, it's just not quite the same. So you kind of go in with a different expectation. So don't go in with that expectation and you'll have a whole lot more fun. But um, yeah, the Beyond the Lens, though, was unlike anything I've ever done. So that was very unique, very different, and a, really enjoyable. It was also not what I thought at all. So I thought it would just be a bunch of place, places, can't talk today, to take pictures and, you know, kind of look like you're in an environment that you are not, which it did have that, but that was not all that it had. It had lots of different like museum type things that told you information and it had like some kind of a computer almost in every room for you to like, you know, research really and dig into it and have some kind of an activity for you to do. So that was neat. It had a lot of games, kind of like arcade games, video games. There was a lot of neat things like that. And then it also had the picture things where you could take a really neat picture, get a really cool selfie. There was also VR, and we only did one of the VR stations, but they had a couple of them. I'm trying to remember how many I saw. I saw two at least. There might have been three. But we just did the last one. It's um, you put these VR glasses on, and you like have to walk across like a pole. But through your glasses, it looks like you're way up high, like on a skyscraper. So that was really neat and a different experience. We've never done anything VR before, so that was pretty cool. Uh, they had a ball pit, which I think I mentioned in here, and lots of different like staged photo things where they had a camera where you scan this card and it would take your picture and then at the end you get to get like a, you can buy, you have to buy it, but there's like a package of all the photos that you took throughout the time and they all look really neat. So that's also a fun little thing and a neat souvenir to have to show what you did. So time. We spent a few hours there. Um, I think it was about three and we did not do nearly everything. So if you really take your time and you did every single thing, you could probably make this an all day thing, which I think is great because there's not a lot in Branson that is an all day thing. So the fact that they have another place now that is an all day thing, I think is amazing. They also said you can leave and get lunch and then come back. So you could just, you get your ticket stamped. 
So that's really nice. You could do half of it in the morning, go get a nice lunch, and come back and finish. It's a great option, especially on those nasty weather days, and Branson has a lot of those. So definitely keep that in mind. Ages, I think pretty much all ages. I mean, there's really nothing for like little tiny babies, but honestly, little babies kind of just go along with you anyway, so it doesn't matter. But my four-year-old, all the way up to my almost 12-year-old, all had fun. They liked different things, but they all found something that they really liked. And my husband and me had fun. So I think that's another great thing. It's hard to find places that a huge age range can enjoy. And Beyond the Lens was that. So every single one of us had fun um, and enjoyed a different exhibit. So that's really nice. The whole family can like it. All right, I'm not going to really share the exact price because prices change and I don't want, you know, to say that it's this price and then you go and it's a different price because of who knows what. But I felt like the prices were comparable for other things that are like it. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it also was not super expensive. It's a really nice, just comparable price. And the fact that you actually can stay there all day I think gives it a little bit better of a value than some of the other places that are going to be the same, but they're definitely only a couple hour thing. So price is not bad. It's um, pretty good, especially if you do that combo ticket, because that just gives you even more to do for about the same price. So that's really great. I will link them down below so that you can go to their website and check out prices and everything. Um, they have two locations. I think it was Pigeon Forge. And then we went to the one in Branson, so I know for sure Branson. But I think that's it. They just have the two locations. But yeah, so if you guys have any comments, any questions, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer any of them or address any concerns you might have and let you know kind of what to expect or what might work for you or not work for you, as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not so you won't miss any upcoming videos. We are actually right now at Gulf Shores. So I have some Gulf Shores videos coming up soon. That's why I'm not in my, my house. I'm in an Airbnb. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.